Hello everybody, I'm very uh, happy to have been asked to contribute a short video to your summer school on sustainable consumption. Uh, my name is Julia Steinberger, I'm a professor of social ecology and ecological economics at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom, and I am sitting here in lockdown where I live in sunny Manchester, and, and uh, let's get right into it. Um, the first thing I want to do is to share with you a quote from the IPCC special report on 1.5 degrees that says uh, what we need to do um, in order to avert dangerous climate change. Now, the IPCC, I should say, um, is the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and it is the international scientific body that informs governments about the state of research um, uh, in this area. So, this quote says that we need fundamental, urgent, and systemic transformations are necessary to achieve sustainable development, eradicate poverty, and reduce inequalities in a 1.5 degrees warmer world. Now, I think that that's quite uh, an impressive statement, and I would like you to take those words with you uh, through your, the summer school and through your career. Urgent, systemic uh, transformations. Um, because too much sustainable consumption research, in my view, uh, this would be my criticism, focuses on sort of niche, tiny little communities, you know, three people in a neighborhood who want to do zero waste or something like that. That's not what we need. We need revolutions across every sector of consumption around the world possible if we want to have a chance of survival. And that's not a joke. Uh, the IPCC's Twitter account this week was so uh, impressed by what they saw happening in Siberia, where it's warming uh, 45 degrees something that's uh, Celsius, something that's never been seen before uh, in the Arctic Circle. Uh, this is a matter of survival. Net zero emissions is a matter of survival. Dealing with these threats is a matter of survival for our entire species and for quite a few non-human species as well, because we're already in the midst of the sixth mass extinction. So one of the things I would challenge you is how do you take the toolkit of sustainable consumption and harness it to help bring forward these revolutions? Um, one of the problems with sustainable consumption is that too often consumption is viewed from a sort of demand and supply neoclassical economics framework where consumers have choice. They have preferences, they have utility functions, it's sort of the normal view of economics, and then they go out into the world and choose to interact with markets and the consumption available to them. Now I would really like you to learn to challenge that view of the world. That view of economics is completely flawed, um, it does not accurately describe the way that consumption and production interact. And to understand consumption, we need to understand production much more. Now, I, there's a method to do that that I've tried to apply myself within my research group uh, called systems of provision. And I would really encourage you to engage with that. Uh, systems of provision basically allows us to understand from a political economy perspective how production and consumption systems are intertwined. So we wrote this paper, it was led by Giulio Maccioli, a genius, writes so well, uh, called, it's a, called A Political Economy of Car Dependence. It's an energy and research and social science. I'm very happy to share it with you. I would also encourage you to engage with things like um, David Harvey's lectures on reading uh, Marx's Capital, because these political economy ideas um, fundamentally are very well understood by uh, Marxian view of the way that producers organize consumption or influence consumption. And I think that this is something we really need to understand. Nobody goes out in the morning wanting to trash the planet and destroy the life chances of all future generations around the world, yet that's what we're doing. So it's obviously not a free choice framework. One of the reasons we consume is because production exists. And production under capitalism requires outlets, it requires growth, it requires profits, and the companies that um, are effectively underpinning our economies are extremely ruthless about maintaining harmful production that's exploitative and extractive at almost every chain of uh, every level of the supply chain. And I think that that's something that you should be taking forward in your research uh, is thinking about that, not just about who the few consumers who want to do things differently. Who cares about that? We need to stop the automotive industry. <laughs> we need to stop Exxon Mobil. We need to stop Saudi Aramco. That's the challenge. Okay, so. You need to understand how consumption studies can help you harness that. Um, there is uh, another paper that I really recommend, which will be coming out soon, but which I believe Manisha can share with you. Uh, I'll try to share the latest iteration with her, which is to try to understand 
different levels of systemic methodologies that you can apply at different levels of understanding sustainable consumption. Um, and I would really encourage you to think sectorally, so not just in terms of specific objects, fast fashion, or whatever, but think about the entire textile garment industry. Think about the impacts of COVID on the workers who are not getting paid in Bangladesh right now, despite having had contracts for H&M. Think about, uh, and who suffered horrific worker accidents in the Rana Plaza disaster, for instance. So think about the whole, the whole spectrum. Think about transport. Think about housing. Um, and it's really at these sectoral levels that we're that we need to make a difference, and that we need our research to point at that uh, intertwined employment, profit, uh, who owns land, how does that interfere with how we can can or can't do things with our housing, which is very energy intensive, and so on. So I think that you have huge opportunities. You're doing great stuff. I'm already a minute over. Um, so good luck. Go out there, and. Uh, attack producer profits that are destroying the planet, because that is our job. Uh, and that is now also your job. Cheers.